Yesterday, countries exchanged views on experiences, lessons learned, and best practices to address the adverse effects of climate change. Delegates pointed to the need to speed up the implementation of adaptation measures. On funding for least developed countries, uh, governments meeting here in Poznan have begun looking to see how to scale up funding for adaptation, particularly for least developed countries. Poor countries are frustrated that they cannot speedily access the least developed countries fund, and countries now need to provide guidance as to in how to how to improve access to those funds. On the shared vision on long-term cooperation, the workshop on the shared vision was completed with a very fruitful discussion, I think. Uh, convergence seems to be emerging in a number of, uh, of areas. For example, people agree that all the building blocks of a future response, so mitigation, adaptation, technology and finance, need to be part and parcel of that vision that that long-term vision should be based on science, be based on what the IPCC is telling us needs to be done, that it should involve mid-term uh, mid and long-term goals for industrialized countries, so specific targets, that, and that it very importantly should accord equal treatment to mitigation and, and adaptation. And many have pointed to the fact that this shared vision is an opportunity to channel society in a low-carbon direction. On land use, land use change, and, uh, and the Kyoto mechanisms, a workshop on mitigation potentials of industrialized countries took place. The workshop elicited some negative reactions from some developing countries that were saying that industrialized countries' level of ambition to cut greenhouse gases is still too low. And there was also criticism that the focus is too much on emission reductions by developing countries which do not have binding reduction targets under the Kyoto Protocol. So, in other words, industrialized countries must show leadership. Delegates are making good progress to detailed approaches on how exactly to calculate the emission reductions from reduced deforestation. They've also highlighted the importance of cooperating in capacity building for reducing deforestation. Several countries have also formed a new coalition uh, for rainforest nations. Countries are already are ready to move this issue forward at Poznan and success here will be an important element to consider in a strengthened response to climate change to Copenhagen. On improvements to the mechanisms, the discussion has started off well. The hot topic is now how to make the CDM more efficient, how to streamline it while ensuring very importantly, its environmental integrity and ensuring that it makes a contribution to sustainable development. Thanks.